In dealing with uh, mathematical expressions and equations it's, uh, that have exponents, it's critical that we learn how to use the exponents properly. So we call, them, we call the rules the exponent laws. Today we're going to talk about the first couple of exponent laws and we'll deal with the other uh, laws and variations in the next screencast. But uh, let's start here with um, law of multiplication. So uh, just number one law of multiplication. So when we multiply two powers that have the same base, what we do is we actually just add the exponents. So just to show this, to prove this, I want to use the example of 3 cubed times 3 squared. So let's just write out what that means. What does 3 cubed mean? It means 3 times 3 times 3. 3 3 is multiplied together. And that's multiplied by two more threes. So if I was to write this, uh, if I was to actually do this multiplication, well this is just three to the one, three to the one. These are all just one single threes in a row here. And what do I do? I, I just add the exponent. How many threes are multiplied together? Well the base is three and there's actually one, two, three, four, five of them. So the answer is three to the five. And uh, so just um, these ones here. Um, yeah, so there we go. It just shows us 3 to the 5. So in other words, but the easiest way to do that is just to take just to take this expression and add the 3 and 2 together and get 3 to the 5. So there we go. It's just kind of a simple proof of why we just can add the exponents if the bases are the same. There's three quick examples here. Okay, so if you add that, so this is 2 to the 4 plus 2, add the exponents, 4 plus 2, and it gives us 2 to the 6. Uh, the next one, to this next one, 5 is the base, the exponents are 3 plus 2. What's the exponent on the last one? Well, that's just 1. There's 1 5 there, so add 1, and I get the answer of 5 to the 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 more is 6, 5 to the 6 is the answer to that question. Uh, last example here I'm going to do in this part is I've got a couple of different bases. There's base of 6 right there and there's also a base of 2 right there. So uh, we can, because it's multiplication it doesn't matter what order you multiply in. 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, so you get 12. Well, in this case, I'm going to just change the order here. Let's take the 2's and just put them in the front. How would that be? So let's just take the 2's. We'll go 2 to the 5th times 2 times, and then we're going to do these 6's. Let's change that then. So that's 6 to the 4 times 6 to the 3. So what I'm going to do here is we'll just uh, do the 2's first. Just do this part first. And of course, this is 2 to the 1. There's 1, 2 there. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So this is 2 to the 6 times. What about the 6's the there? Well, I add the exponents again. 6 to the 4 plus 3 is 7. And there's my answer. 2 to the 6 times 6 to the 7th power. Okay, now we could act, we know that we've just we leave that exponential form, or we could calculate the answer of it. Calculate, we could multiply uh, six or two to two by itself six times, get sixty-four. Multiply that times six to the seventh, which would be a, some huge number, and then get a, some massive number there. But we're just going to leave an exponential form right now. That's all we're asked to do. The law of division, the second one here. If I divide two numbers that have the same base, again the same base. The answer will be the same base, but the exponents will be subtracted. Well, let's look at the example here. If I have 4 to the 5th, 4 to the 3, what does that mean? That means 4 times 4. Well, there's 5 4's on top multiplied together. On the bottom, there is 3 4's. Okay. Well, in this example here, we... Uh, what we can do if I just had a multiplication like this, I can, it's a fraction, I can cancel out uh, common factors in top and bottom before I multiply it out to make it simpler. 
Well, what happens is they'll come in, there's a four on top here and a four on top on the bottom there, sorry. And so I can cancel those out because they're, they're basically the, they're the same factor. I can simplify this. Okay, when I simplify fractions. Now, I can, there's another pair of fours, top and bottom. Another pair of fours, top and bottom. Well, there's no more fours left on the bottom. So, uh, uh, we we're done. What's left? Four times four. Well, four times four is what? That's just four squared. And there's our answer, four squared. The, uh, but instead of going through all of that, the easiest way to do this is look at that question and say, okay, this is just four to the five minus three. What's five minus three? Well, that's just two. As you notice, these two answers are exactly the same. So the easiest way is just to subtract the exponents it would give you the correct answer. Let's do some examples of this one and finish off these examples here. Okay, so 3 to the 7 divided by 3 to the 5 is just 3 to the 7 minus 5, which is 3 squared. There it is there. Uh, next one, negative 8 to the 5th. Now, the, the base is the bracket, which is negative 8. So negative 8, leave it in a bracket. Do not remove the bracket. 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2, negative 8, in a bracket again, cubed. So there's our answer. We finished it. We're not being asked to, to um, calculate or evaluate, you know, to put in standard form. This thing, you just want us to leave it in exponential form. The uh, last example here, again, we have a situation where there is a, a couple of different bases. But that's no problem. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take and move 2 to the 11 minus 7 times 5 to the 6 minus 1, because the 5 on the bottom it should have a, it's, it's like 5 to the 1 it's the same thing there's no number there it means exponent is 1 let's finish this off 11 minus 7 is 4 so 2 to the 4 times 5 to the 5th is the is our expression and we cannot you know we've done this exponential form we're done we're not asked to evaluate this so that's how you uh, do multiplication the law of multiplication and the law of division when it comes to exponents.